Bonjour à tous. Hello, everybody. My name is Garrett. I'm the American medical student in France, and we're on our Tour de France, de fromage français, our French cheese tour with Pontevec. Pontevec, as you can see here, is a soft cheese with a washed crust. It's one of the four protected cheeses of Normandy, and it's emblematic of this northern region of France. In fact, Pontevec is named after a village between the Norman towns of Dovio, famed for its casino, and Lisieux, which is famed for being the home of a Catholic saint named Therese. And the history of this cheese goes back to the 1100s. It was first formulated by Cistercian monks near Caen on the Norman coast. And then it was referenced in literature. And there, in fact, is an illuminated manuscript, I'll put that up here, called The Novel of the Rose, with French poetry that references this cheese. This, this cheese has been eaten here in France for almost a thousand years. Um, Mother points to note about this cheese. This is the Petit Pontevec, made by the milk cooperative uh, Isny saint mer in the town of Isny sur mer It's on the west side of the Calvados department in the region of Normandy. And they're most famous for their camemberts, but they also make cheeses like Pontevec. And the Pontevec is made from minimum 50% Normandy cattle cow milk. There's, there's a specific Normand breed that this cheese gets its milk from, minimum 50%. And it's aged for four to six weeks and then it's sold. It's also a molded cheese, but it's given this name pat mold because it's not, the milk curds is not forced into the mold. It's just simply put in there and then it's popped out and then it's washed often with salt water. And so it's, the, with the pat mold, you can see it's very much a soft cheese. And other than thing to note, this is the Petit Pontevec, which is one of the smaller versions of the Pontevec. You can get them, just give you a sense of scale. Here's the cheese. And here's my hand. I have seen some that are three to four times the size. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the smallest version. And this is just very much a soft cheese. Uh, another thing to note about this cheese is it is somewhat stinky. In fact, if you smell it, you'll get a sense of a mix of green grass, honey, and maybe a hint of ammonia. And this is one of the cheeses that if you put this in your fridge, it will stink up your fridge. That said, this cheese is also a favorite cheese in France. Ever since creation of the railways in the 1800s, this cheese would be shipped to what are called Les Halles in Paris. And Les Halles was a grand market in the center of Paris, which no longer exists, but it, it was known as a luxury cheese and for being so creamy and unctuous. And uh, even to this day, it's still a favorite French cheese. I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cheese open and I'll taste it and I'll let you know what I think. All right, folks, I'm back. We've got our Pontevec here. As you can see, it's just absolutely oozing out of the crust. This is just one of these classic soft cheeses. A couple things before I forget. The Pontevec used to be known as the Ogelo after the Pays Doge, which is in central Normandy. It's just this beautiful region with orchards and rolling green hills. I'll try to share a picture up on the screen for you. And in addition, it used to be in a round shape, but to differentiate it from the protected cheese Divero, it was put in square molds in the 1700s. So again, if you come to France, you, especially if you go to Normandy, like this is one of these cheeses you just absolutely have to try. And so without further ado, I'm going to cut myself a piece here and I'll let you know what I think. See if we can... There we go. Got here a very small piece. This is... It's hard to show it with the lighting, but it's, it's really small. And uh, let's give it a try. Hmm. just buttery and creamy and everything that you would think you might want in the cheese is really, really nice. Um, 
it's actually quite mild until you can get that crust and it crust definitely does give it a sharper flavor however on the whole it's not going to be nearly as strong as you would imagine a moonster because it's the interior is incredibly creamy and also relatively mild flavor it's, it's hard to describe any more than that i mean it's I'll cut myself another piece here Imagine just a mix between butter and milk and cream and maybe just a hint of sharpness. It's just great, fantastic cheese. By the way, this cheese is also notoriously hard to pair with wine or food. However, it has been known that you can pair it with Calvados. Calvados is apple brandy and it's a cheese alcohol combination that can be found in Normandy. So. Come Normandy, you can have your Petit Pont Evêque with your Calvados. So, thanks for your attention, everybody, and wait till next time.